this is an amazing week for new comic books. And we're here at a comic book shop. Things from another world. Do I always wear a costume when uh, shopping for new comic book day every Wednesday? No, I don't. But this is a special occasion because House of Slaughter is back. So let's take a look. Ooh, ah, starting off strong with this is beautiful variant that I'm definitely gonna grab today. So this is a Butcher's War part one, this is issue 21. So this is starting up uh, a new, a new storyline. And this is within the universe of Something is Killing the Children, AKA the Slaughterverse. The houses have to come together and try to put aside their differences uh, to take care of their rogue hunter problem, Jace Butcher and Aaron Slaughter. You can see House of Slaughter, they wear suits and masks like what you see me wearing. And then we have House of Butcher, and they have more of a, a modern tactical look to them, which I think is really cool. Yeah, I'm gonna take this home with me. Yeah, but 1979, this is a really cool, dark, supernatural urban fantasy that takes place in the 70s. The main character, Abba, is a queer woman of color, and she's an investigative journalist, and she fights shadowy monsters. And this is issue five, so it's the last issue for this current storyline, and look at this artwork. I think Abbott is such a cool character. I uh, heard Skull Crusher. This is a great new series. It has Mad Max vibes, takes place in Wasteland. It's about an extreme sport that has Thunderdome vibes, and the art style has uh, manga elements to it, manga inspirations, and I think it's awesome. And there's a cool trading card element for the in-universe athletes. That's pretty cool. I mean, it's the beginning of a new series, man. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta hop on that before, before it's gone. Yeah. It's a hot commodity. Power Rangers. Lenny more from Power Rangers. The Return Issue. Too. So I'm actually new to the universe of Power Rangers and I think this did a great job of like filling me in on what I need to know while introducing the next phase of the story. And it's kind of teasing uh, potentially the next generation of Power Rangers within this storyline. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's that's sick, dude. Ooh. If you know, you know. I feel like I'm really becoming a Power Ranger fan and this this is, this hooked me to be honest. I think, I think it did a fantastic job. And Amy Jo Johnson played the Penguin Ranger. He's all in the belly of the beast. This is the last issue. I really love this series. Oh, the art style in this is awesome, and I love the world building. This is all about humanity's relationship with nature, personified through Zawa, who is like the spirit guardian of this mountain. And, you know, it's all about humanity's uh, parasitic relationship with nature, and uh, this is an attempt to heal that with some of the main characters. It just, oh, it's just so good, man. And the art style, I love color scheme in this. It's fantastic. Things are really hitting the fan in this issue. The last issue, man. I don't want to say goodbye. The Displaced. This is the last issue one here. That's crazy. This is a good comic book, everybody. The last issue, just saying. Oshawa. People still DM me and tag me in posts about how I pronounce that. Buffy well, the Last Vampire Slayer, pretty sick. Next Gen Slayer, who is uh, the daughter of Willow and Tara. And she's a Slayer, just like Buffy. So cute, right? Red Flavors, issue four. I don't know why I said it like that. That's a cool cover, I haven't seen that one. Oh, did, I didn't even recognize this for a second. This is an awesome cover. It looks like a vintage poster. Dude, look at it, it's a Grim Hat. It's a Grim Hat.